it's Victor for Captain Darwin and welcome back in yet another episode of the series. Today we are going to be tackling a very special subject that's not often talked about in the world of expedition, money. Yes, indeed, buying a boat, preparing her for a journey around the world and organizing such a big and long voyage are things that cost a lot. So in this episode, I'll try to explain to you in some details what are the precise costs of Captain Darwin and also how I find money to fund it. So let's talk numbers. It's me, Victor, the content. In this series, Victor the sailor is often under the spotlight. But what about me? Would he be sailing with no money? Could he buy diving equipment if it wasn't for me? And when do I have credit? When? First, we need to buy a boat and ours was 42 thousand euros. On top of which we have 17,000 euros for the new engine, 5,000 euros for the transport from Paris to Bretagne, 4,000 euros for the new standing rigging, 3,000 euros for security equipment, 6,000 euros for new electronics, plus 1,000 euros for a new sail and the total adds up to 80,000 euros. Of course, the boat is far from being the only thing that costs money. On top of that, we have to add the cost of learning how to sail, gasoline for the car, sandwiches for the volunteers, the creation of the website, photo and video equipment, diving gear, harbor costs, coffee, 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 and sometimes, just sometimes, the occasional beer. The total of everything so far adds up to 100,000 euros and that's just a start. Obviously, this money was spent during the first year of the expedition and now we are about to sail around the world and there's a monthly uh, cost of handling the boat. This cost includes food, gasoil, boat maintenance, diving and video gear maintenance, the creation of visas, marina fees, the salary of the expedition coordinator on land, educational content creation cost, coffee, 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 and sometimes, just sometimes, the occasional beer. The monthly cost therefore adds up to 6,600 euros and because we are voyaging during four years around the world, the total adds up to 316,800 euros. Victor the Sailor, back to you and good luck. To fund all of this, the first thing was to invest my own money. During several years, I saved a few thousand euros, 40,000 to be exact, that were my starting bet. If you're willing to ask people to fund your project, I think it is paramount to show them that you strongly believe in it, thus engaging your own money in the first place. The challenge, once I dilapidated my preciously earned fortune, was to search for sponsors who were willing to fund the rest of Captain Darwin. To do this, I wrote a presentation document explaining the expedition and then started searching for support. And to tell you the truth, most of this phase happens on the phone or writing emails to hundreds and hundreds of different structures. What I'm looking for is either sponsors who give money in exchange of media visibility or benefactors who donate money without asking anything in return. I think that for both categories, the idea is exactly the same, to find someone who is deeply touched and concerned by the theme of Captain Darwin. It means someone who wants to help me tell meaningful stories about biodiversity, what scientists do to better understand it, and what citizens do to protect it. Very early in the process of creating Captain Darwin, I was fortunate enough to have a discussion of this quality with William, who is the director of a French watchmaking company by the name of Yema. Yema, c'est une, une marque horlogère française qui a été fondée en 1948. 
euh, aujourd'hui basé à Morteau dans le Doubs. Chronologiquement, c'est une marque qui s'est spécialisée sur les montres dites techniques, donc les montres qui sont destinées à la fois aux aventuriers, aux explorateurs, à tous les professionnels ou amateurs de voile, de sport mécanique, de plongée, etc. Ce qui est super intéressant dans l'expédition que tu, tu vas réaliser, c'est que tu coches quasiment euh, toutes les cases euh, de nos domaines de prédilection. À part l'espace et l'aviation, bon ça... Euh, non, pas encore. On, pas encore. on y viendra peut-être. <rire> Il y a trois euh, facteurs importants. Le premier, c'est euh, l'utilisation de la montre dans son environnement principal. Le deuxième, effectivement, c'est comme tu l'as dit, la visibilité du contenu que ça va apporter. Et le troisième, bah, c'est aussi le côté euh, sensibilisateur écologique à travers ta mission qui, euh, qui pour nous est important. Vous avez été les premiers en fait à me faire confiance à un moment où l'expédition, c'était juste une idée qui était couchée sur le papier. C'est-à-dire qu'il n'y avait pas de bateau, il euh, n'y avait pas d'équipe, j'étais pas encore à Concarneau, j'étais euh, encore à Paris à cette époque-là. Et bien bah, ça, c'est une preuve de confiance euh, dont je te remercie énormément. Je remercie énormément la marque Emma. Et moi, en tout cas, je suis très, très honoré de, euh, de porter les montres euh, aujourd'hui et demain à travers le monde. Donc, merci beaucoup à toi. Plaisir partagé, Victor. I could easily speak for hours about money and how it's important for an expedition. I could also talk about how the Crédit Agricole Foundation helps me fund the project, the city of Concarneau and the municipality's community of Concarneau. I could also talk about the crowdfunding campaign that I launched a few weeks ago and that closed with 12,000 euros collected or about my amazing Patreons who give a few dollars each month. But in the end, there's only one thing that I want to say about all of this. And that's a big, a huge thank you to each and every one of my supporters that make Captain Darwin a reality. Cheers to all of you. To put it in a nutshell, I think that the uh, one and only piece of advice that I can give you uh, to earn the necessary money to make your adventure is to create a meaningful project that you sincerely believe in. That's it for today. Uh, I hope that you liked this episode and that uh, maybe you can use some of this advice to create your own ambitious and daring project. I'll see you in the next one. A bientôt. Et chaque de fois.